This video is going to be about surviving the climate emergency we all face. Recent news about reductions in carbon and methane are encouraging. Shifting away from fossil fuels is wonderful. Solar and wind now provide rising percentages of power to the US, China and most of Europe. And the automotive and other industries are coming on board at accelerating rates. All good. But there is still a hidden problem, and, as Albert Einstein once said, understanding the question is 95% of finding the answer. Something like that. So what is this problem, that still needs our urgent attention? Just this. The climate crisis is like a stampede of a million cows across the frozen tundra. They are participating is a multifactorial, system-wide dynamic. If we, as a metaphor, get 10, or even 100 of these stampeding beasts to stop, or even turn around, the other 999,900 cows are still running in exactly the same direction, and with the same velocity, as they were before. But here is the hidden, real issue here. The climate dynamic involves over 35 interacting parts. From permafrost, to ocean temperature, to methane in the sky, to CO2 production here on the ground. And these parts all of them have left a signature on the planet over the last 50 years. Their effects have a legacy, a lasting influence, a problem that won't just go away when the new causation is stopped. So what does this mean? What it means is that we have to take this situation even more seriously than we currently are. Yes, we are adding less greenhouses as a percentage of the past. But we're still adding them. A lot. And each molecule of carbon or methane is like an army ant, that has a lifespan and a goal, and a lasting effect on the system. And none of these agents is going away any time soon. As the ice sheets melt, the permafrost, for example, thaws. And, as it thaws, massive amounts of carbon and methane will be released. There will be no stopping it. It is already scripted into our future. We're stuck with this. And, right now, there is no way to undo it. No way to cool the ocean off the coast of Florida. No way to revive the coral in Australia and other places which are already 35% dead. No way, frankly, to undo what our selfish nation, and other nations, have embedded into the system. Less speed for sure. But the car we're driving is still going over the, earth climate speed limit, and, according to Al Gore, we still have our foot firmly planted on the accelerator. Bottom line. We need even more aggressive federal change, and personal change and business change. Right now. Love shift. Working together, we still can make a difference. The only question is, will it be enough, to stop the stampede? And the damage already done. And the lasting effects these damages still contribute to our problem no matter what we do.